Hi, my name is Anthony Hoyos, and I'm from Queens, New York. I started dancing because I have a twin, but she's also my cousin. <laughs> um, we just look alike, and we're like the same. Um, so my cousin was dancing, and I was living with her at the time. And I would always, she, I would always ask, like, oh, what did you learn? And she would teach me whatever she learned when she came home from dance class. So I wanted to dance too then. Um, and then ballet was sort of different because I was just sort of, I started taking classes for a year and then all of a sudden I, I came upon Agon on YouTube and that was, I'd never seen anything like that. And it was so like shocking really, you know, I'd never seen ballet before. I never even thought about it. And, um, I didn't know what it was, and when it, when you see something like that, you're like, oh, well, how can that be ballet? I guess that's ballet. Well, I have to do it then. So, yeah, that's how I got started, pretty much. So, originally, I trained at the school at Steps with Ashley Tuttle, and then we would do classes outside because I started, I started late at 15. And I went to Carlisle, Pennsylvania, and I trained with Marcia Dale Weary for a whole year in the summer and I had her every day uh, along with Amanda Edge and Simon Ball. I learned how to partner at Miami City Ballet and I worked with the company a little bit uh, in midsummer, and that was really exciting. Um, and then I really wanted to come back home one more time and I hadn't gotten a job that year from anywhere so it's kind of a strange year especially a strange year because I got a contract during coronavirus pandemic. So it's kind of strange, I guess. But uh, I went back home to New York to Ballet Academy East and I everyone knew that it was my graduating year. So I was very grateful to like have that in mind and already be in New York to audition around and stuff. So at Ballet Academy East, I had Darla Hoover, Jenna Lavin, Elizabeth Walker, Maxime Belizakovsky, um, a bunch of other teachers too. Uh, it's very, it's such a diverse group of uh, teachers. I'm very lucky and very special to have gone basically all around the country. Well, East Coast. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much a summary of my full training. My dream role really has to be all of them. For me, it is, uh, it's a true dream, and I'm very lucky. I keep saying this, I'm so blessed, I'm so blessed, but it really is true. Uh, I always just wanted to dance. Of course, everyone wants to be a principal and do all the principal roles, but I am very, very grateful just to do any kind of role that I have, and so, yeah. I love to dance, and that's my dream role. I like to cook. I'm vegan. I've been vegan for four years, so that's a big part of uh, my life, and it's not really a diet to me as much as it is maybe to someone else, but it really is a lifestyle. So, uh, so I love to cook and do vegan things. <laughs> and uh, uh, I also love to work out. And you know, people often ask me like, after you danced for so many hours how do you work out? And I'm like, well, you just do it. I have a lot of energy, so it's fun to burn off that en energy so I have a peaceful rest because I cannot sleep if I don't work out. But <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much my go-to after ballet. Really just working together. Um, we're, in, we're in groups of uh, like, I'm in a group of new core dancers and new apprentices as well. So I'm really looking forward to working with all new people. Um, actually, most of them I've known since I started ballet, but uh, I'm really looking forward to working as a group in a collective and uh, bringing ballet to everyone. And now that it's online, we can literally do that, which is really uh, part of my dream as well, share my love of dance. So that's what I'm most looking forward to. Thank you.